And here comes our final entry. Well, ladies and gentlemen, youngsters here on the bleachers from school, we want to welcome you here this afternoon to our final breed show here in the sheep barn. This is the Rambouillet breed of sheep. And they have a very fine fleece. They're a big sheep. Some of them have horns and some of them don't. The ones that don't have horns we call pulled. So we do have one ram right here in the middle with the most attractive set of horns. We do again want to welcome you exhibitors back here. Today's judge, as you know, is Mr. Ed Julian from Rootstown, Ohio. Ed's worked our second half, our final quarter of open show sheep judging here at the Big E. A week ago, we had nearly 800 head of sheep. We had 700 this week here competing for prizes and awards from as far west as Wisconsin, Illinois, and Kansas, all out here competing for top show honors. If you'd like to follow our show, we do have programs or over here on the bleachers. It's got the names of the exhibitors in here and tells you about the breeding of these different animals and we sure want you to follow along. So we're gonna have a good Rambouillet show here. We've got some real strong competition five different exhibitors from three different states, four different states. So a nice competitive show. You kids here from school, we're glad to have you here this afternoon and perhaps watching your first ever sheep show. This is a breed of sheep called the Rambouillet breed and they're a very good sized animal. Their lambs get up and grow real fast. Nice, good natured type of a sheep. And a lot of your good sweaters, your good wool clothes come from the wool off the backs of these sheep out here in front of you. If you look at behind you there, on behind you on those bleachers, there's a whole lot of flags up there that have different breeds of sheep that are in this barn. They're not all here right now, but if you take a look around the building here, you'll be able to identify 10 or 12 of those sheep that are up there. Last week, we had a dozen different breeds of sheep that we showed here at the Big E, and this week we have another 13 or 14 different breeds that will be competing out here in the show ring, just like these three sheep here are. These are the males of our breed. And in the breed, in the, in the sheep industry, we call the males a ram. So when they get real rammy or when somebody talks to you to settle down and not being so rammy, they're talking about the nature sometimes of these boys. They get a little bit carried away and kind of rambunctious and ornery. So we use that term rammy. So, but yeah, when you're through the barn, we want you to uh, see if you can identify some of these other sheep. Also out there in the center aisle, which is on the other side of this show ring, down here to the north end or to your left are some nice displays. And there's some handouts and things there that you may want to pick up and learn more, not only about sheep, but uh, 
you learn about agriculture here in New England as well. So some real good uh, things that you want to be sure and take a look at and pick up while you before you leave. Start this Ramalay show this afternoon. We've certainly got some big old Rams to uh, to evaluate in this first class. Uh, I'm starting up here to my right with uh, with a really a thick made square made ram, very correct on his feet and legs. Uh, certainly the fleece, uh, very very desirable fleece as I part it. Um, nice headed ram. I go into second, uh, longer appearing kind of a ram, very correct. Uh, when I handle him, he doesn't really handle that much longer than the ram I start with. Uh, I, I I just like to see a little more depth and, and scale and volume to this ram to start with him. Maybe pretty up his head a little. Closing the class with the big ram in the class, uh, boy, he really, from a uh, profile at 30 feet, you think, wow, what are you doing here? Well, I'll tell you, he's, uh, he's really off in the mouth bad. His testicles are very small. He's third place. Okay, exhibitors, this time we'll weigh these first three rams, and then we're going to share that information here with the public. Thanks for coming, kids. Thanks for bringing them, man.
In this senior uh, Ram Lamb class, I'm starting up here to my right with this pole ram, uh, a really a correct ram, certainly a long straight handling ram, really a high square dock. I, I really like the front on this sheep, uh, and really has a really has a nice fleece. I, it, it's very even as I work it uh, from front to back and up the side. Ram in second, certainly the pounds heavy ram, uh, really a thick ram. Uh, I don't think he's probably any heavier bone ram than the ram I start with. Uh, uh, he may have a little more wool on those legs and places, but uh, but certainly a, a really a nice ram. I think it's very, very close placing. Uh, he, he doesn't handle, uh, he handles a little thicker, but he doesn't handle near as long and maybe as square as the ram I'm starting with. And certainly uh, uh, I, 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 I think he loses out a little bit as we look at that neck and front end as he comes out of the shoulder. But certainly uh, two really nice rams. Uh, the ram in third kind of follows in there pretty easy for me, uh, uh, somewhat similar to that ram in second. He just shortens up and, and uh, a little rougher top than, uh, than the ram I used uh, above him, uh, but another really, really nice ram. Closing the class with a, with a ram lamb that uh, is just given up overall scale uh, mass and, and uh, thickness and, and, and length to get any higher, but, but a real correct ram. Thank you. Good job, exhibitors, on those senior ram lambs. We are going to go back and catch the placings on our yearling ram class. First place honors in the yearling ram class went to Dave O'Banion of Waynesville, Ohio, with the Banyan 916. He was the son of Marshall 368 and weighed 322. Second place in that class was an entry from Kaylee Scott with Bar J. Barr, 43 in. He weighed 306. And he was the son of Cunningham 378. Our final ram in the, in the class was bred and owned by O'Banion Farms from Ohio with O'Banion 716, and he weighed 330. We've had one suggestion already for tomorrow's meeting is it will be cooler. We are going to do that. Here are the results of the Senior Ram Lamb class first place honors went to Keith Stumbo from Clay Allison, pardon me. In our Rambalaza was first place was 
Clay Allison with Dewdrop 698. The son of Bauk 214, he weighed 222. Our second place Ram Lamb in the class was exhibited by O'Banion Farms with Fry's 1617, and he weighed 276. The third place Ram in the class, also from O'Banion, was Fry 1662, and he weighed at 247. Fourth place was an entry from Emma Minor with Oswald, Ben's 3060, and uh, Emma's Ram is also first place in our junior show.
Really interesting class of uh, Ramelay Ram Lambs to evaluate this morning or this afternoon. Uh, starting with a real fresh, uh, correct kind of a lamb here at the top of the class to my right. Uh, probably the, uh, the cleanest, prettiest fronted ram in the class. Certainly handles long enough. Uh, you got to keep him awake if he wants to. If he wants to relax, he tends to want to break on the top a little bit, but certainly very long. And and when he's on point, he's uh, he he makes it makes my work a little easier in this class. Got a ram in second, uh, real heavy, heavy made, deep made kind of ram. Uh, I uh, I really appreciate the, the overall thickness of this ram. Uh, very correct. Uh, certainly fleeces. Uh, uh, very even as I work it. I've got a ram in third. I, uh, I really like a lot of things about this ram, uh, but he's uh, uh, he's not on right on pad today, and he, he really gets soft on those front pastures when we work him around the ring, uh, but a real long, straight, thick, nice fleeced ram. Got a ram in fourth. Um, there's just not quite as much to him, uh, uh, and, he, and he tends to want to roach up a little, uh, but but pretty correct on those feet and legs. Certainly, fleece is yoking a little, but it's very, very even. Um, much could be said about the heavier made ram in fifth. Um, and, I've, and then I, I'm starting to get into some really small testicles as I get down to the end of this class. And, 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 and I'm looking at some mouths, and quite frankly, there's a couple I can't use because I'm afraid they may not hold teeth till 3 o'clock this afternoon. Thank you. All right, we'll get a wait on these Junior Ram Lambs, and if you have an entry in the pair class, go on and line them up at this time. We're ready for our pairs of Ram Lambs. Here are the results in our Junior Ram Lamb class. First place honors go to Will High Farm of Tivoli, New York, with Will High 1741. Our class winner weighed 166. In second place was O'Banion Farms, Dave O'Banion from Waynesville, Ohio, with O'Banion 217. He weighed 233. In third was Kaylee Scott. And also the first place in the junior class was Scott, 2491. He weighed 236. Fourth place honors went to Clay Allison of Hemlock, New York, with Allison, 1718. Fifth place was also from the Clay Allison flock with Allison, 1701. Sixth place honors and second in the junior show were taken home by Kaylee Scott of Pulaski, Pennsylvania, and O'Banion Farms with O'Banion 717 had our final ram lamb with entry number 688. And if you're following the book, it reads down 5-2 with a weight of 233, 3 at 236, 1 at 166, 4, 7, and 6. Our pair of Ram Lambs class was 
won by O'Banion Farms. Second place honors went to Clay Allison. And in third place was Kaylee Scott. Mike, you're doing a pretty good job there. He, that's the one, I think he said. Recognizing our contestants, we have the first place yearling ram from O'Banion Farms of Ohio. Second place is Kaylee Scott from Pennsylvania. Clay Allison from New York is the owner of the ram the judge is currently looking at. And O'Banion Farms placed second in that class. And in our junior ram lamb class, Will High Farm, Chuck and Heidi Simmons of Tivoli, New York, have the winner, and the second place ram in that group is exhibited by O'Banion Farms. Today, uh, in this Ramelay Ram Champion Drive, we're going to use the first place Fall Ram Lamb as champion, first place Spring U Ram Lamb as reserve champion. Our champion Ram honors go to Clay Allison, 
our reserve grand champion ram went to Will High Farm, Chuck and Heidi Simmons of Tivoli, New York. Next, we need to pick our junior show, champion and reserve Rams. Kaylee Scott, we need your Rams. And Emma Miner, we need your Ram Lamb too. Emma, you're right here in the middle. Glad to have you. These are the Rams that are competing here for our junior show, Grand Champion Ram Honors, and we'll recognize the first place yearling to the judge's right is Kaylee Scott, Emma Miner with the first place senior Ram Lamb, and Kaylee Scott with the first and second place Rams here from our junior class. In our junior show this afternoon, we're going to use the first place yearling ram as champion, first place uh, spring ram lamb as reserve.
I think we've got a real strong class of uh, Rambouillet Yearling Ewes out here. Certainly a lot of really, really fancy pieces and parts. Uh, it's uh, some of them I'm having trouble getting them all in the same sheep. Uh, I'm starting up here with a ewe that just uh, certainly my fault for a ewe. She's got a beautiful fleece. She's very correct. She's very straight, thick. Certainly handles long. Um, and when I when I start evaluating some issues as I get down into the class, uh, she just finds her way to the top for that reason. She just doesn't she just doesn't have some of those that I find critical. The you and suck it. I thought I'd probably make her first, to be honest with you, and she made it awful close. Uh, she's much. First of all, she's much higher docked than she's presented. She's actually about as square as she uh, as she looks from the profile. Really nice fleece, beautiful head, uh, very very correct on those front feet. She wants to be. She wants to uh, to hock in a little on those hind legs. Uh, and that's why she's second today. The big U in third. Boy, she is big, and she is something else in many ways. What she's not is, in my opinion, very, very long hind saddle. I, I find that she doesn't handle near as long in the hind saddle as the two U's in front of her. She's really a long ribbed U, uh, and maybe rolls a little bit in that in that rump that I don't like, and, and the longer we're out here, she tends to want to get a little soft on those on those rear pasterns. Her fleece, uh, her fleece, a very even fleece, but it's uh, it's not presented uh, near near as well as the two U's in front of her. She's got some yoking, uh, but but a powerful powerful U. U in fourth. Again, we've got a ewe that's just got a beautiful fleece. She's very correct. She handles straight. She's starting to give up some overall length, I think, when we evaluate her compared to the ones in front of her, but a really, really strong ewe. We've got a really long-sided ewe, and certainly a long-handling ewe in fifth. Uh, you really have to appreciate that about her. When I handle her, she's just too rough down the top uh, to get any higher today, but certainly a, a really, a really strong set of, of yearling ewes. Thank you. Congratulations, exhibitors. We'll line up our pairs of yearling ewes while we weigh these first three. Here's the results in our Rambouillet Yearling U class. Our first place honors went to Will High Farm. Chuck and Heidi Simmons of Tivoli, New York with Will High 1610 out of the Osmond 884 Ram. And she weighed 245 pounds. Our second place Yearling U was exhibited by O'Banion Farms, Dave O'Banion from Waynesville, Ohio. And that was O'Banion 1100 and she weighed 280. The third place yearling U was exhibited by Clay Allison with Allison 1603. That was ring number 692 and she weighed 297. Fourth place honors were won by Will High Farm with Will High 1596. Fifth place was an entry from Kaylee Scott of Pulaski, Pennsylvania with 
Scott 2467. In sixth place was O'Banion Farms, Waynesville, Ohio. Seventh place was exhibited by Clay Allison. Eighth place honors were won by Kaylee Scott, and that was the second place you in the junior show. In ninth was Emma Minor with Athena, Will High 1586, and she is third junior. And Emma Minor also placed 10th with Artemis, Will High 1632, and she was fourth junior. Our first place junior in that class was the Open Show fifth place, you from Kaylee Scott. And if you're following along in our book, it'll read down three with a weight of 297, two at 280, five, eight, four, nine, and 10. And on the next page is one with a weight of 245, seven, and six. We have six entries here in our senior ewe lamb class here in our Rambouillet breed. And the oldest in this class is September 13th all the way down to December 6th. Here's the placings on our pair of yearly new class. First place honors went to Will High Farm, Chuck and Heidi Simmons of Tivoli, New York. Second place was a pair from Clay Allison from Hemlock, New York. Our third place pair of yearly news were exhibited by O'Banion Farms from Waynesville, Ohio. And in fourth place, Kaylee Scott of Pulaski, Pennsylvania. Rounding out the class was 
am a miner from Merrimack, New Hampshire. Ice cream there, Artie, don't forget. That's Charlene Jew, isn't it?
Good evaluating these uh, Remily U lambs. I start up here to my right with uh, with a U that that's really thick and straight and square made, uh, very correct, uh, very clean fronted. I like the fleece as I work it from front to rear. I'd like to stretch her out a little bit, yes, but uh, but she's really straight and level. Uh, you in second, certainly another really correct straight kind of lamb. Uh, maybe uh, maybe not as quite as square as I handled out over the dock. Uh, maybe not quite as long, but a really uh, really nice you I think to fit in the number two. We've got a real short fleece to you here in third. Uh, might give her really an eye appealing sheep. Uh, I. Uh, I, I just like to put more hind saddle in her. Uh, it's uh, she's really short fleeced. It makes it somewhat difficult to make sure. I, I think I'm seeing what I'm seeing, and, and especially on that shoulder. But uh, but really a, a fancy kind of sheep. Big old big old you here in fourth. Uh, she's uh, she's making it a little difficult uh, today, but. But she, she's just too rough top. She just breaks too much behind the shoulder to suit me, a uh, little too much front, uh, but a big old you. We got a you here next in line, uh, a real correct you. Again, we're, we're, we're looking at some sheep that maybe are starting to, to give up some of the fleece qualities I like to see, uh, but certainly all correct, uh, nice yous. Thank you.
Really nice set of you lambs out here this afternoon in the Ramblay show. Starting up here to my right with uh, with a really fancy you lamb. Uh, when she uh, when she moves around the ring, she really moves smooth and easy, and on those standing up on those toes like she should, really straight, really square, nice fronted. Certainly uh, a nice fleece uh, uh, to 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 go with the total package. You in second, uh, a really pretty fronted, pretty headed you, very, very correct. Uh, I'd, I'd, I really like the straightness of her top. Uh, if I, I'd like to see that fleece just a little denser to maybe to use her at the top, but, but another really nice package. We got a you in third, uh, a, a little larger, deeper made kind of you than second, um, but, but certainly has a really, really nice fleece, handled straight. Uh, probably giving up a little overall length of, of top uh, to the U that I've got above her. Got a more youthful kind of appearing U in, in fourth. Very, very short fleece. Uh, she's certainly, certainly very correct, very straight. Uh, you love the femininity about her head. I, I just like to make a little a change that hind saddle uh, to get to get her any higher, but certainly a, a really eye-catching U lamb. U in fifth, big tall U. Uh, very correct, but I, 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 I just need to get make her longer and straighter to get above these others, but a big U in, indeed. Thank you. Congratulations, exhibitors. We'll now line up our pairs while we made those first three. Here are the placings on a senior ULAM class. That was one back. First place went to ring number 708, which is O'Banion Farms from Ohio. With the Banyan 1632 out of the Crawford Ram, she weighed 221. In second was Clay Allison with Dewdrop Farms 6 70. That lamb weighed 172. Third place honors and first junior was a U lamb shown by Kaylee Scott with Scott's 2490. She weighed 164. In fourth place was O'Banyan Farms with O'Banyan 1630, and that was off a of ring 707. Our fifth place U lamb is exhibited by Clay Allison with Dewdrop 664. And our final lamb in a class was exhibited by Emma Minor with Will High 16112. And she was second place. And reading that class from top down, it was 4 1 with the weight of 221, 5 and 2 at 172, 3 weighing 164 and 6. Our junior U lamb class we just completed. The first place lamb was shown by O'Banion Farms with a daughter of Crawford 14. Our class winner weighed 150. In second place was Chuck and Heidi Simmons with Will High 1700. And a runner up lamb weighed 121. Third place honors also to Will High Farm. Ring number 715 with Will High 730 on the lamb that weighed 132. In fourth place was Kaylee Scott. In first place, Junior with Scott's 2494. Fifth place honors were O'Banion Farms with O'Banion 17-4. In sixth place, Clay Allison with Allison 1714. In seventh place honors, went to Kaylee Scott and she was the second place junior. Eighth place on the next page was a U lamb shown by Clay Allison with Allison 1751. And rounding out the class was Emma Minor with Natalie, Natalia, Will High 1748. And she is third place in that junior show.
Here in our peer review lambs class, Chuck and Heidi Simmons with Will High Farm placed first. And then second was Dave O'Banion, O'Banion Farms of Waynesville, Ohio. Our third place group was shown by W. Keith Stumbo from New York with the Allison pair. And in fourth place, Kaylee Scott. Our fifth place ewe lamb pair was exhibited by Emma Miner. This is our final breed being shown today in our week two wool week competition. We really are happy to have had all of you exhibitors participating with us. And of course, yet this afternoon will be our supreme champion, Ram U and Fleece Judging. And that will be about 30 minutes following our Rambolet show. We will announce how the show is progressing. We will pick our Supreme Champion Ram, then the U, and that will be followed by our Supreme, Supreme Fleece Sheep. 15 minutes after the end of this show, we will do our Supreme. Here are the contestants for our Grand Champion U Honors we have out here in the ring at this time. We'll start with the yearly news over here on the South side of the ring, the judge is right. The class winner was bred by Will High Farm of Tivoli, New York. A runner-up yearling you straight to the east of her is from O'Banion Farms of Ohio. Our senior ULAM class winner, first place in this category, went to Dave O'Banion, O'Banion Farms. And the runner-up lamb was from Clay Allison of New York. The first place junior ULAM here in our class was bred by O'Banion Farms. The runner-up in this class was exhibited by Chuck and Heidi Simmons of Wilhai Farm in New York. Really a nice Ramble AU show this afternoon. I think uh, I think the exhibitors done a great job. I think they deserve a round of applause at this time. I will uh, I'll go out and select my uh, champion and reserve champion use. Our grand champion U goes to Will High. Farms and O'Banion 
Dave O'Banion from Ohio with the Reserve Grand Champion on the Junior U Lamb. Chuck and Heidi Simmons with the Champion U from Tivoli, New York. Their first place yearling. We'll recognize these youngsters competing for our champion new honors from the junior show. Now, these have all been were interspersed and exhibited with the open shows, but these also get bonus funding because they're juniors. So we're going to start down here in the yearly new class. First and second place were each owned by Kaylee Scott. Our first place senior U lamb was also from Kaylee Scott. And Emma Miner had the runner-up, had the second place junior U lamb, and Kaylee's brought out her first place lamb from the junior class here to compete. Champion U uh, in the Junior Rambouillet Show this afternoon will be the first place Spring U Lamb. Reserve Champion will be first place Yearling U.
Here are the results in our exhibitors flock competition. First place went to Will High Farms, Chuck and Heidi Simmons of Tivoli, New York. Our second place flock was exhibited by O'Banion Farms, Dave O'Banion. Third place honors went to the Clay Allison flock from New York, and in fourth was Kaylee Scott of Pulaski, Pennsylvania. Rounding out a group was a flock from Emma Minor from Merrimack, New Hampshire. Exhibitors, our next order of the day will be the judging of our breeders' flock. Now, we know there's some changes to be made, and our judge will reanalyze these flocks as we bring back the animals that we need to substitute out. The next class, are all five must be bred and owned by the exhibitor. We'll have a ram any age, two yearling ewes, and two ewe lambs from many of our previous classes here. We'll select our breeders flock competition. We're going to switch three and four here. Here are the results of our breeder's flock. First place went to Will High Farm, Chuck and Heidi Simmons. Our second place group went to Dave O'Banion. Third place was shown by Kaylee Scott, and our fourth place group was from the Clay Allison flock.
Sounds like somebody's nose is twisted in the vet office. Okay, Dave O'Banion is first with the Get of Sire class. Second place went to Kaylee Scott and third place to Keith Stumbo. Chuck, can we snap a picture of her up on the block real quick, too? It's not. Yeah, we're doing both the reserves and the champions. Hey, Dave O'Banion, on behalf of the Eastern States Exposition, we're proud to present to you both the Premier Exhibitor and Premier Breeder Awards here at the Big E. Folks, let's give Dave and his team a nice round of applause on a great job well done. Or Dick. Well, 
O'Banions, the O'Banion team. Davy's at home. That's right. You keep Davy at home to keep him in, in line. 